and all right, bet. And oh. and what is up, everyone on Facebook? This is Mark Gaming uh, coming to you live from uh, Columbus, Mississippi. Uh, currently tracking a what is not a tornado warning in effect for Ottawa County in on the southwest side of Ottawa County, moving in the direction of Starkville and potentially West Point. Um, Lowndes County, you are not in the warning, but eventually this could head towards the Columbus Air Force Base and also Southern Monroe County. So just giving y'all a little heads up in that regard. Uh, if you'll actually give me just one second, I'm trying to figure out why this dang track is not showing up correctly like it needs to be. Uh, this track needs to be showing up a little bit better than this, and it's not. Uh, if I can get it to pull up right. Uh, give me one sec, guys. I do apologize. This picked a bad time to not want to load up everything correctly. So you are you are gonna see a few things for just a second, and I cannot find it. All right. Well, luckily I know the city's kind of by heart at this point, so. Pretty much Starful in about uh, 12, 13 minutes. So if you live in Starful, uh, you need to be taking shelter now. West Point in about 31 minutes. Uh, Waverly about that same time in about 37 minutes. Caledonia in about 50 minutes for a tornado warning storm right now. Again, Lowndes County is not under this warning. So just because I'm calling out cities in Lowndes County does not mean they're under a warning. Just giving you all a little bit of advance heads up because this these storms are moving at about uh, 50 miles an hour, so that doesn't give a lot of time. So right now, let's see if I can get let's see if we can probe a little bit of this. The it looks like the rotation is going to be right in there. Uh, 65 mile an hour incoming and 60 to 70 mile an hour outcoming. Uh, this is something we have to take seriously. Gate to gate shear. Let's check that to make sure we're not seeing anything out of the flat out ordinary. I don't really see any. Big gate to gate here that would suggest to me that a tornado is on the ground, which is obviously good news. Um, National Weather Service, of course, I'm thinking they went with radar indicated. They did. Uh, correlation coefficiency, see if we see anything. Uh, don't see anything, because, and that is also a good sign. Uh, really, I first noticed a storm out there towards Sturgis, and at first it wasn't even tornado warning. I was about to send out a message as to why it wasn't tornado warm, but as soon as I was about getting ready to send it, they went ahead and dropped the warning anyway. So warning did come out for that storm, um, which like I said, it, it really needed to be warned. It's it's trying to do something. Let me go to storm relative velocities. So it'll let me, there it goes. Okay, this will give me a little bit better, uh, this will give me a little broader angle to see. Uh, there is rotation right in there, and uh, where the reds and greens are meeting, right in there. It's close enough to where some, there's some rotation there. Not a lot of it, but there is enough to where a tornado warning need to be issued, especially for Starkville and the Mississippi State campus. So if you're on the Mississippi State campus, and if you're watching this, you need to get in your tornado safe place. Now is the time to do so. Um, actually, if it's going to go to my Facebook and uh, see if anyone's watching with the live. There we go. Uh, to do go that. ahead and turn that down. All right. So right now, uh, just again, giving kind of an overview of the situation. Tornado warning is in effect for Starful, Mississippi, uh, Sturgis, Starful, and West Point because eventually we'll head off towards West Point. Uh, so if you guys live in Starfall, if you know people that live in Starfall, let them know that there is a rotation that it looks like, for the moment, um, is broad, but it could tighten up very quickly. We have seen rotations today where it will tighten up really quickly, last for about five to ten minutes, and then it'll weaken out. Uh, these are not. This is not the type of day where you're going to see the long track tornadoes, but they'll still be on the ground for a good amount of time. Um, outside of that, uh, Starfall is also under a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for a uh, radar indicated storm producing 60 mile an hour winds. Obviously, it's for this storm right here. 
and then they put in the tornado possible tag, which is obviously why, and then they went ahead and issued the tornado warning because they upgraded it. Looking further along this line, uh, Tupelo is now also under a tornado warning. Uh, tornado warning for Tupelo. This came out in about the last five minutes while I was getting everything set up. This does include Tupelo proper, and rotation on this storm is actually pretty tight. It's near Verona right now. So if you live in the Tupelo area, uh, just east of Tupelo, along I-22 towards Fulton, Saltillo, Guntown, you also need to be in your safe place at this time. Uh, and going back to this storm, I'm popping back and forth because we've I've got to touch on Starful because it's getting closer and closer. Starful, you got about six and a half to seven minutes until impact. Um, again, I wish my city thing would work to where I can show you all the city map, but it's not working currently, but it's whatever. West Point, you got about 25 minutes until impact for West Point. If y'all recall, out there in the east part of Clay County, uh, they just had an EF. I believe it was an EF2 tornado touchdown just east of West Point, caused uh, tree damage. So, and they are directly almost right in the line of fire again in about the next 30 minutes. And my radar just went completely bonkers. Okay, never mind. No, it didn't. There it is. Okay. Just got a new scan. Uh, let me go to the base, base velocity. Uh, it is trying, but it's still not fully wrapped around where it's producing anything. Uh, Jay just said they could have a spin up in a moment. I do agree with that. Um, Amber, I'm going to see if I can get you in this, in this chat. First of all, because your home is right in the line of fire. Yeah, I'm here in the chat right now, Mark. Can I get the link? I know that, but like you can actually join in the stream. Okay. If I can... I think I had to do that. Oh, actually, I could just share it. Hold on one second. All right. So back to what? Back to this for a second, because I do got to touch on this rotation. Actually, is starting to tighten up, as Jay said. It's still a little broad, but it is getting a little worse, meaning the rotation could be starting to tighten up. Looking at gate to gate shear, do I see anything that says tornado? Because earlier we had a, a lot of gate to gate shear down there in Jackson that immediately threw out the tornado. Luckily, I don't see that right now. So I don't see that right now, although I am still continuing to monitor it. Correlation efficiency, checking on that. I don't see anything, so that is a good sign that, again, we don't have anything that is on the ground. Not to say that something won't be on the ground, but just saying that as of now, nothing is on the ground. Although this thing is a little concerning. This and then this. There are a couple areas of rotation that are getting stronger, but are still not producing anything yet. I'm emphasizing the word yet. Like I said, we've seen these touch down for about five minutes, then they lift after about five minutes. Uh, they had a tornado down in Jackson, touched down for about five to ten minutes, and then it lifted. But it was still enough to where it caused the EF1 to where it looked like maybe even EF2 damage right there in the heart of Jackson. So this is something that we have to take seriously. And again, even if you don't see the tornado, you're still looking at potential of damaging wind potential out of this in excess of 60 miles an hour and easily uh, 40 to 50 to 60 miles an hour. Let's look at storm relative velocity. As soon as we can get the velocity on this thing, all right. Storm relative velocity, uh, see a little bit of rotation trying to spin up there again. Uh, we're talking west of Starful at this point, still not in the downtown area, although my radar is detecting a possible uh, circulation. So let's jump back to the reflectivity. I'm going to jump to interact. Let's see. It's a strength index that's a five. Uh, low level rotation, uh, 21 knots, so not that much rotation. Uh, but the fact that there is detecting some form of rotation uh, means that something is coming up, and I'm going to have to respond to that later. Bad timing. 
anyway. Um, looking at a broader view of this, uh, right now, Tupelo is still in the line of fire. Potentially a tornado. Um, uh, it's much more impressive than the one near Starfall currently. But again, I'm jumping back and forth on this. So uh, just give me one sec. Like I said, we're going to jump back and forth on this. Um, that is easily damaging winds, if nothing else. That is damaging winds in excess of 60 to maybe even 70 miles an hour. And in some cases, maybe even 75 miles an hour up there near the Tupelo area. So Tupelo needs to be in their safe place at this time. Again, even if this is not a tornado, it is easily producing damaging winds in excess of 60 to 70 miles an hour, which, as we have seen, can cause a lot of issues. Uh, going back here real quick to the Starfall area. That's a little bit off. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I should be getting a new radar scan. I mean, I think I just got it, actually. Uh, let's see here. Not really seeing anything on radar that tells me that it's a possible tornado, although I'm still monitoring it. There's still low level circulation detected. And by the way, uh, shout out to those of you guys that are joining me on the live stream. Uh, like I said, right now we are doing some live coverage on this severe weather event going on in Mississippi, particularly for those in Atibaha County and Clay County, which will, I'm sure, eventually get into Lowndes County on the northern side. I don't think Columbus will have to worry so much about this part of the storm. Um, if anything, may have some areas down here to the south that may head up that way. Not sure yet. We'll have to see. One of the things I don't like about this radar is that it does not include city maps or city roads and stuff like that. That is something that I am going to look into for a future reference. All right, let's see here. We're going to actually we're going to turn that off. We're waiting the new scan. Uh, base velocity. Uh, it's still easily showing about 40, 50 mile an hour winds, maybe up towards the 60. Uh, maybe some uh, rotation. And there's the new update from the National Weather Service. It just came in. So let's go ahead and see what they're, see what they're seeing. Uh, still going with radar indicated. Uh, it was a severe thunderstorm came producing tornado. It was located near Starfall, moving northeast at 50. But again, this is radar indicated rotation. There is a potential that this could produce a tornado, but that does not mean that it is producing one. But rotation is strong enough that they are keeping this warning around. It'll be near Mudro around 645, Tibby around 650, and West Point around 655. We can get any storm track on this. And actually, as soon as I say that, the mes mesocyclone, uh, I, it detected a mesocyclone right on top of Starfall almost. And it is actually a little bit stronger than it, than it had been before. So let's see if we can probe this out just a little bit. Uh, the reds and greens are getting a line. 37 or 50 outgoing, about 43 incoming. Rotation is going to be right almost on top of Starfall if there is something there. Checking gate to gate to make sure we're not missing anything. Uh, uh, it's, it's getting close. It's getting closer. It is getting closer, but it is not producing anything yet, but it is getting closer. Uh, Amber, let the chat, uh, you let the chat know that I was live, by the way. No, I did not. Okay. I'll have to see if I can share it. Rotate, rotation of the wild cloud, no intensity indicated yet. Uh, I really wish Jay would join this. Would, oh, there it is. I can just do it via that. I didn't see that. I'll send this out to a few people, and then we're going to get right back to covering this. Because, again, a lot of people have got to get in this. Because right now is the time where we've got to let people know what's going on. Because rotation is starting to tighten up a little bit in the Starful proper community. So if you're in Starful, I need you in your safe place right now. Well, I mean, it's almost too late now. But you need to be in your safe place right now on the lowest floor. On the lowest uh, floor uh, in a sturdy structure right now. 
uh, right now in the Starfall proper community. Uh, again, mid-level rotation being detected right there. Uh, it's only a couple steps away from taking that next step to where it might produce something. Uh, again, uh, see if we can get another track on this. Uh, Star, uh, West Point right now at about 15 minutes. This is located near Starfall, so West Point about 15 minutes. If this stays on this track, Columbus Air Force Base, just north, the north side of Columbus Air Force Base at least, and around the Hamilton area in about 30 minutes. Uh, north, extreme north Caledonia, so I know we got some people in the southern Monroe County that go to Caledonia, about 43 minutes if this were to hold up. Um, of course, this storm could change directions. It could drop. Uh, it could, you know, do something. Right now, luckily, it hasn't done anything yet. But going back to the base velocity, since we got a new scan. Uh, okay, I don't know why my radar just did that. Bear with me one second while I get this fixed. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Uh, storm rotation is still definitely tightening up. Um, it's not quite to that. It's it, it, it's trying. That's the problem here. It, it's almost. It's like a I don't know stage. It's trying. It's almost there. But but luckily we're in that maybe almost phase. We're not in that for sure. I can confirm we have something on the ground. Luckily. Um, checking those two circles, just checking these two to make sure that they don't match because that is pretty close. That is at, um, making sure that they don't match. Uh, base velocity, that's going to be pretty close. Gate to gate here, let me check that. I'm going to track it right there. I don't think this is on the ground, but I'm checking it just to be sure. Uh, 20 knots, that's not enough. That's really not enough. Uh, hey, Lily, how you doing? Notice that you just got in the, uh, video chat. But, again, I don't think that's enough. And, plus, this, it's not matching up to what the radar's saying. So, I don't think that would be an actual. I think we're okay as far as that is concerned. But, again, still continuing to monitor this. It is still close enough that we have to. Be really careful with this. Yeah, it yeah, that yeah, that circle's been there. It's not okay. That's what I thought. Okay. That's what I thought. Alright, let's check the storm relative velocities on this. Hey, Ricky Anderson, how you doing? Holy cow, we got 10 people watching. Holy cow. Anyway, uh, enough about the people watching, although I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, right now, though, we are uh, following a uh, tornado warning storm just north of the Starfall proper area, heading off to the northeast. We'll be affecting locations in the West Point community, and like I expected, they went ahead and issued a thunderstorm warning for Monroe County. Probably going to go ahead and do a tornado possible tag. Yes. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get a track on this real quick, and we'll be right back with the uh, Starful Storm in just a second. But we're going to go ahead and get some tracks on some of these other storms. Uh, I don't know why my mouse is not wanting to click on any. Tr oh, yeah, my mouse is still not wanting to click on any tracks now. That is a problem. Okay, I may have to exit this and come right back. Uh, luckily, this thing will take two seconds to load back in, but I've got to get tracks on these storms. So just bear with me for about two to, for about one to two minutes. We should have the WSV3 radar back. Sometimes the radar does this where it'll freeze up. It loses the um, ability for me to do things. And sometimes the only way to get it back is to just do the WSV and just go ahead and reset the whole thing. All right, we're going to go on in and I'll make this a lot easier if we could just go to the warning list and just zoom in on the warning.
There we go. Perfect. Alright, now I should have everything back. And now that I do have everything back, let's kind of get a... Let's kind of refresh everything, kind of um, clean up a few things. I rotate. I'm getting a new rotation marker on the north side of Atibaha County, right near the Clay County line. So that is very interesting. It's a mid-level rotation. Let me see if we can get a visual on how strong, if at all, it is. Um, not that strong. Possible and and they do have a rain wrap tornado near Tupelo? Possible. Near rain wrap tornado near Tupelo. That's, I was afraid of that because that's, oh, right now? Yeah, Jay just sent it in the chat. I think I might, I might be seeing it too. I'm definitely seeing something. Let me go to gate to gate here. We are going to go up to Tupelo for just a second. I uh, do appreciate Amber for that. A report and uh yep let me probe that to make sure you it's rain wraps so it's gonna be hard to tell but that is a that is a pretty impressive gate to gate cheer we have to assume that one is on the ground especially from what jay in the chat and from what amber just read from there mentioned because i trust them uh we have to assume that that is on the ground so again if you live near tupelo and well there you go right there uh, rotation right there, clear as day. That is about as clear as you're ever going to get it. Uh, this, uh, I can almost confirm with certainty, debris or no debris, this is on the ground uh, near the Tupelo proper area. Let me see if we can get a... Uh... Yep. Yep, it, it literally was just on the ground in the south section of Tupelo, moved northeast, and yep, it's it's still there. All right, let's get let's probe this out a little bit. Seventy-four mile an hour outgoing. Uh, incoming is about not that impressive, but regardless, it's there. It's there. Um, if you are in the Tupelo proper area, especially on the east side, you need to be in your place right now. This is a confirmed. Um, I can pretty much say with certainty this is a confirmed tornado. Even if National Weather Service isn't calling it. The, the proof is there. It is pretty obvious at this point. This is almost the exact same scenario we had in Jackson, except that they actually did call it a lot sooner. But let me check gate to gate here to make sure the rotation is right there. Gate to gate here, not as impressive as it was about two minutes ago. But again, if it's rain wrapped, then uh, it could be rain wrapped. It's going to be a lot harder to see. Let's check the correlation efficiency on that. Not there, but again, if it's rain that it's going to be hard to get a lot of, you know, correlation efficiencies. Now, uh, cycle that out for just a second. Um, I do believe it looks like they have dropped the warning for Starfall as far as the tornado warning for Starfall and for Clay County, which is good news, but I want to get base velocity because part of me still does not feel completely comfortable just yet. Severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, is still in effect for that area. Um, they did go on ahead and allow the tornado uh, warning to expire for that area. Clay County, you are also no longer under the tornado warning. So again, that is good news. Um, Let's go to storm relative velocity. Uh, we're going to jump back on the Tupelo storm now that the Starful warning is no, is the tornado warning for that is no longer there. We're going to jump back on this for just a brief moment and touch on this as apparently Amber's having trouble on Fortnite. I'm all right, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, the rotation has gotten a little bit weaker, but let me see how it's been. I mean, there was a tornado there. Right there. If there was a tornado there, it was right there. Even if it was just for a split second. Right there. At about 6.39, at about 6.40 p.m. In that zone, right there. Just east of Tupelo proper. Uh, just east of the downtown area anyway. That's where we most likely had the tornado. If, in fact, it did produce anything. 
course, it lifted literally right after that. But, I mean, there's still significant rotation on this storm. Um, so, by no means um, are any of these guys out of the woods. But it does seem like that Lee County has gone ahead, or my, uh, excuse me, the National Weather Service in Memphis, however, has decided to go ahead and allow that warning to expire for Tupelo. A little surprising considering they just had a confirmed rape tornado, potentially, and then they just allowed it to expire. The tornado must have weakened, and I mean, I, it is weakened, but still. These are just things you, we've got to double check everything before we can officially just give the all clear. Um, let's go back to reflectivity for a second. Touch on some other things just in case. Uh, looks like a severe thunderstorm for Neshoba County, Winston County, and Notsabee County. Uh, Lowndes County for now, uh, you are not under a warning as of yet. Uh, the line has not gotten there yet, but you are not under a warning, I don't think. No, because that line doesn't come here, so that means they're not under a warning. But let's take a look at this doing the same thing again. Alright, Carlin's family is in shelter at the school in Caledonia. What's up? Carlin's family is in shelter at the school in Caledonia. Heard. Alright, that is good to hear. Uh, and that is a very uh that is a very safe place to go, so I applaud them for that. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again. I don't think he can handle it again. Right. Yeah, they, no, he can't. Um, so anyway, right now, what we're looking at is mainly uh, damage and wind potential. I uh, can't rule out the possibility of some uh, form of severe weather or some form of tornado potential. I just wish that my storm trap thing was working I, so I can see what's really going on here. So I guess we have to do this kind of the hard way. Oh yeah, see, it's not even let me do that. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and come back in again because WSV3 is not working with me right now. It's not letting me see the storm charts on all these storms. Been kind of acting up all day, and not a good time to be acting up either. <laughs> but as of right now, there is only one tornado warning, and that is for uh, central Mississippi, uh, south of I 20. And mainly, it is the rest of it is all severe thunderstorm warnings, but we will run through them to double check everything. And again, I don't know why the city map isn't coming up the way it's supposed to. Let me see what's going on here with that. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about it at this point. All right, so this severe thunderstorm. So it looks like this line is heading towards Amory in about uh, two to three minutes. Aberdeen in about three minutes. West Point almost pretty much right on top of you. Or, yeah, actually, it is right on top of you. So, Aberdeen within the next two minutes, Amy within the next two minutes, and this is a line that's producing 60 mile an hour winds. Right now, come down here uh, for this storm over there in Winston County, Knott's Pater. Um, that storm has already passed, or that storm is passing you right now. Uh, West Point, uh, Gory, West Point right now. Y'all have not seen the worst of it yet. Uh, Right now, the, the main part is still kind of back in Starkville, Starkville just east of Starkville. Uh, so West Point will probably be in about five to seven minutes over in that direction. Um, just checking to see uh, Jackson Weather Service is doing something. Uh, I'm going to go back to Kamala. 
What's going on here, Mississippi State? I have a son there. Oh, wow, Angela Reed. I am so sorry. You're about 10 minutes, probably about 10 minutes late in seeing this. Um, Angela, Mississippi State right now, damaging winds. Tornado potential is not zero, but it's a lot less than what it was about 10 minutes ago when, when I came on the air. So that is definitely some good news. Uh, but tornado potential still is not zero. But um, at Mississippi State, they still need to be in their safe spot. Give me another five minutes, five to ten minutes, and I can probably clear them out of their uh, out of the safe place. But give me another five to ten minutes on that. What you got? Possible storm for me, south of Louisville. Heard. I'm fixing, fixing to look into that now. Uh, okay, that's for that. That's for that storm out there. Okay, we're going to jump uh, south of Louisville, you said. Um, okay, I see, where you're I see where they're talking about right over there. Uh, that was the one we just touched on uh, a few minutes ago. It already went through Knott's Pater. Uh, Macon in about 24 minutes. Blitzville in about 24 minutes. Uh, south Central Lowndes County in about 45 minutes if this holds up including the New Hope area in about 47 minutes, potentially, if this holds up. But I do understand why they touched on it. This storm is rather impressive. Uh, let's check the storm. Let's check the base velocities on this and see what we got. Mm. I mean, yeah, possibly. We're still in that maybe possibly zone, thankfully. We're not in that. Oh, hey, it's a tornado, thankfully. But I do want to come back over here to the South Otibaha area for just a moment. In South Otibaha County, North Winston County, I do want to touch on this very for just a minute just because it's not warned, but... Uh, about 50 miles an hour outgoing, 40, 45, 50 miles per hour incoming. Uh, rotation is pretty strong over here in the south central um, Atibaha County. Let me track that for just a minute, if it'll let me. Yeah, this is a storm that was north of, and it's still producing a little bit of rotation. Might have to watch this just to be safe, but I think that will head off to the northeast away from Starfield. That should be away from Starfield, and there they go. They finally issued a severe thunderstorm warning. This does include the Lowndes County area. So let's go on ahead and get a track. Well, if it'll let me. Or not. I guess I'm probing this so much now. If I let, me, let me get a track on some of these. All right, give me one second, guys. We're going to reopen the app and try this again. But yes, as of right now, a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for Lowndes County, um, Eastern, uh, and for the rest of the areas that the last storm didn't cover. So anyway, uh, looking at this storm right now, that isn't, all right, so that is for a line of uh, strong and severe thunderstorms. This just came out. All right, that's not for that storm. That's not it. Uh, give me the right one. There we go. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Finally. All right, this one just came in at 6.53. Uh, it expires at 8.15. Uh, wind gusts of 60 miles an hour. Uh, tornado, uh, they did not issue, they did not put a tornado possible tag, so that is good news. Um, rotation, I don't really see any new rotation developing with this. And actually, as of right now, in the whole, uh, viewing area, 
I do not see any tornado warnings, which is a great sign. Um, maybe things, um, we had a few storms that came through the Columbus area that may have stabilized the atmosphere just enough that when this line came through, it might have limited the tornado potential. Maybe. But we're not completely off the hook either. These things can pop up at any time. Like right there, we're still seeing a few mesocyclones uh, being detected on radar. Um, so this, so we're far from out of the woods. Uh, let's look at the downdraft gust potential from this. About 40 to 50, maybe 60 miles an hour. Not really just all that impressive. Uh, again, I'm not going to say that the tornado potential is gone. Because we definitely don't want to say that. Because it, it's not gone. It's just maybe dying down, I think is the right word. But I don't think it's completely gone. I do think that there's a chance that some others may try to spin up, um, as is common with these kind of systems. But at least for the moment, Lowndes County, uh, Otibaha, and Clay County just severe thunderstorm warnings for mainly straight line damaging winds. Tornado threat not zero, but as of right now, also not really seeing any rotation. Let's check storm relative velocity though. Let's make sure we're not missing anything that looks funny. You know, that looks funny. Um, definitely some uh, wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour near the Starfall area. But again, just not really seeing a whole lot of uh, potential out of this, a whole lot of tornadic potential out of this, which like I said, is a great sign. Um, we may have dodged a bullet here, like I said, but the storms coming in earlier, they weren't strong per se. They were just kind of a few isolated storms but it may have uh, capped off the instability to where it may have cut it off for our, when this line came through to where the tornado potential would be gone. Not, again, that's not to say we're not out of the woods yet, but um, at least for the moment, we may be in the clear. Probably going to stay on for a couple more minutes, so about 7 o'clock, just to be sure that uh, nothing else changes over the next couple of scans. Where we see anything else, uh, we are seeing a few mesos, a few signatures trying to develop, but it's weak enough to where it's not flashing. You know, hey, this is a tornado or something like that. Um, let's look at gate to gate cheer to make sure that we're not missing anything. As soon as that loads. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm looking at this as more of a straight line wind potential, which again is you know great news. What could have been a lot worse. So, I uh, give it another couple of minutes, and like I said, we're probably gonna get off the air here, and we'll, we'll cut back in if needed if we go under a tornado warning. We'll be cutting back in, but like I said, as of right now, mainly just severe thunderstorms capable of producing uh, winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Hail is not a factor. Tornado threat, not zero, but not very high at this instant. But again, had a couple of scares there, possibly in Octoba County, and then we have one in Tupelo where it was possible rain wrap tornado, which we saw that on radar. So, but that being said, um, checking over one final time before I call it, make sure we're not missing anything. I think we are going to, oh, we, I'm going to, might have to stay on another minute or two because I'm seeing some rotation signatures that are popping up. One south of Louisville, one just north of Louisville. There's a, I'm going to stay on a couple more minutes because I'm seeing a few things that just... Again, this is the problem. My rotations can spin up and then they'll cycle back down and they're quick. So you have to try to catch it. 
but this one, but this area in particular, this could be an, a little bit interesting. I might have to stay on for a couple more minutes just in case, just because this is in North Winston County. And uh, while this is not a tornado worn storm per se, this could still have the potential to possibly do something. So we're going to stay on for a couple more minutes and just kind of keep an eye on it just to be sure. Because I think that's coming on the south or the on the other side of it. Let's check it. Storm relative velocity. I mean, like I said, if it's coming on this side, it's probably a little too far away from the storm. Uh, well, I, ooh. It's a little further north, actually. Hmm. Okay, so the radar just completed scan. All right, let's check everything. Let's see what we got. Uh, base velocity, again, I'm not, uh, we get a new scan. Uh, it's a little something there. It's very, 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 very weak, if anything. Uh, let's check the uh, storm relative velocity. Let's make sure. Again, we're just touching base, making sure we're not missing anything and uh, the storm relative velocity I'm seeing like 74 miles an hour but I want to check I've got to check the storm placement this is this might be a little bit close actually now that I'm looking at this this might bear some watching let's jump back to reflectivity let's see if this matches up any features the storm relative velocity is there but it's just not matched up with any features that made me think oh this is a possible tornado let me go back to storm relative though and then we're gonna uh put it on gate to gate cheer i mean it's there There's again another radar scan. Again, just not, which again, this is good, but not really seeing any kind of strong, crazy rotation that makes me think, you know, hey, we're about to have a tornado, which again is a good sign, but I'm looking at this little, this little notch right here. This little notch over there in northeastern Winston County, where if it goes on this track, it would, it would clip northwestern Knotsby County near the Knotsby Wildlife Refuge, extreme southeastern Atibaha, and then track up towards Lowndes County, maybe eventually getting to Columbus. But again, it's not... I said it's something I'm it's something we're tracking just to be sure that it's not going to try to produce anything cuz cuz normally when you have straight line winds you don't have that inflow coming in like that so that makes me wonder is there something is there something trying to go on there that potentially that I'm seeing that maybe National Weather Service or maybe I don't know
All right, let's go back to, to base velocity. Again, I just don't know. That little kink right there, that, that's what really has me concerned. Uh, storm relative velocity, let's see what it's showing. I'm sure we've had a scan or two come in since we last looked at it. And mm, let me probe that a little bit. I mean, it's less impressive than it was about five minutes ago. So that is a good thing. It's less impressive than it was five minutes ago. But still maybe want to watch it just in case it doesn't try to do anything just strange. Because earlier it was doing 74 miles an hour on the storm uh, relative velocity. It was doing about almost 75 miles an hour. And then you have this inflow trying to kick in on the back side. So, again, it's just something we just have to watch every little thing to make sure that, one, we're not missing anything. Because in this situation, spin-ups can occur almost instant to where it come, it touches down, then it'll go back up. Um, is that what we saw there? Not necessarily. But that's just something we just really have to watch. And just waiting for the radar to come back up because it just went, because radar just had a hiccup on me. Uh, give me just one second. We're gonna go right. We're gonna exit out and come right back into it. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm getting a little concerned. I'm getting a little concerned because now the now my radar has detected a possible tornado vortex signature and the radar is in a pretty good spot. Uh let's let's check on this again. Like I said, I I knew that the situation just didn't quite feel right. Like it's right in there in that little couplet. Let's go in and again we're gonna we're gonna check it. Double check everything, triple check it if we have to. Because like I said, the worst thing we can do in this situation is miss something that could potentially be a tornado a quick QLCS spin up tornado trying to touch down. That's the worst thing you can do is miss something like that. So we're just trying to double check everything, just minding P's and Q's and just crossing the I's, dotting T's, or dotting I's, crossing T's. As my girlfriend just laughed about that. Moving on. But again, we're just double checking everything because I, I thought we were good to go and then I saw that. So I, that's why I've been kind of on that storm for the past few minutes. Um, let's go ahead and check the other storms, make sure, again, nothing else is doing anything just really just out of the ordinary that it shouldn't be doing. You know, just double checking to make sure we're not missing anything. Uh, de definitely some strong, uh, strong gusty winds heading up towards Aberdeen. Uh, potentially some strong winds near the West Point community. Uh, strong damaging line or strong straight line winds near the Artesia community. And... Um, and I don't know about this one. I just, I just don't, I just don't know. Um, we'll go ahead and put a track on this as it's going to be kind of heading in this direction. Uh, I'm going to be tracking more towards this way though, just because it's where the, uh, rotation will most likely go. So if it stays on this path and I'm going to go a little, and this is going to be a little bit ahead. Well, actually, just got a new radar scan right there anyway, but this is going to be um, this is going to be about where it lines up. So ignore the sense of impact thing. Um, so this is at about 705. So it's going to be about five minutes up. 
So Crawford, so that's about eight minutes. So Crawford in about 7.18 to 7.20, whatever this is, will be heading up that direction. It is rotation. Is it producing a tornado? No. Um, should there be a tornado warning on it? Possibly, just because that rotation is there and it has moved a little bit. So possibly, maybe, we're in that very possibly, maybe situation. But if it does continue on this track, it would head towards uh, New Hope and eventually the eastern side of Columbus, like extreme east side of Columbus, out towards that direction. Uh, we'll probably miss the downtown area, but that's if this holds together. And like I said, these these kind of circulations, they drop and then they'll, if if they drop, they'll drop and then they'll come back up. So. Uh, looks like uh, the main line has moved through Starfall because now the winds are coming out of the southwest, which means that the line has moved through Starfall, the worst of it. So Starfall, you can pretty much come out of your safe place. You're done with the severe weather. Um, you're going to get a lot of heavy rain and maybe a little bit of wind left. But as far as severe weather, you're done. And Okay, so we can't go just yet. A uh, new tornado warning that just came out for this storm. I was just tracking it south of Aberdeen with some strong winds. And Nathan is trying to call me. Bad timing, Nathan. Uh, he needs to be watching this. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get him on, get him to watch the stream. Uh, but anyway, we do have a tornado warning that just went into effect for Monroe County, extreme southeast Lee County, and Itawamba County. Uh, it is currently near Amory. Let's go ahead and get a uh, base velocity on this. Let's double check everything. That was the wrong base velocity as I clicked on it. Okay. Let's probe this out a little bit. Well, actually, I wait for it to fully cycle out because it's not done cycling out. Okay. So I'm not really seeing anything on there per se, but let's check storm relative velocity. Let's see if we can see what maybe they're seeing in Monroe County. All right, is that storm relative velocity? That's, okay, there we go. Okay, this is a storm relative velocity and it's gonna be right in this kink right in here. Moving off to the northeast, so Smith, uh, let me actually, let me actually go in and go interactive on this. You good? Yeah. That didn't sound good. Anyway, uh, Smith, Smith fell in about six minutes. Uh, Tremont in Itawamba County in about 20 minutes as my radar scan is updating this. Till 7.45, my phone just sent it. What is he talking about? That tornado warning was he talking about. Yeah, that tornado warning was for Monroe County, not for Lowndes County. The reason it went off for him is because uh, he's so close to Monroe County anyway. And But even so, that tornado warning is not for him. So, Amber, if you don't mind, please let him know in the chat that tornado warning is not for him. But I am tracking that storm right now. But it is not for him. But anyway, back on this storm here for a second. Um, let's see. Smithville, you got about five minutes, so you need to be in your safe place. Uh, Fulton, this should pass to your east. Tremont in about 18 minutes. And there is a mid-level. And there's some pretty strong rotation over there near Amory. And the radar is picking it up. So that is something we do have to watch on that account. Um, back to the storm over there in Lowndes County, just to double check things. Uh, it's still just a severe thunderstorm, not, uh, producing a tornado of any kind yet. Again, that's just a situation where we have to, uh, take care of it just to make sure that it doesn't try to do anything in particular. Um, that little hook that we were tracking in Winston County is now in the extreme Northwest, um, Knotsby County, and that would track more towards the Crawford 
and um, maybe South Columbus, East Columbus areas. But again, hardly any rotation with that, but it is a situation where we still have to track it in case it does try to do something. It's just like with that storm over there in Monroe County, really wasn't doing anything, and all of a sudden now it's producing something. But right now, luckily, this is radar indicated rotation. Uh, but we will stay on top of this for a few minutes to make sure that it doesn't do anything uh, suspicious. Checking the correlation deficiencies on this real quick to make sure that it to make sure that we don't have anything. As my phone just got a lightning signal about three miles away from me, so I'm gonna check on that. Uh, correlation efficiency, not really seeing anything out of the ordinary, which is obviously a great sign. I mean, there's nothing on the ground. Um, as far as the lightning for me, that was probably from this line of storms. I about lost my glasses there. But that is for this line of storms, and the lightning strike probably came from the Waverly area. Uh, there is another uh, circulation in eastern Clay County that my thing may have just detected. But again, we'll track it. And then there's one still over there in Northwest Nazi County. So let's check these out again, double checking everything. Uh, storm relative velocity. Let's see. Well, right, you know, let's go to gate to gate shear. That'll tell me if I'm seeing any kind of shear there. Because usually if I'm seeing shear next to each other, that usually tells me a uh, tornado. But, I'm for but fortunately, I do not see anything on that. Mainly straight line winds. Uh, straight line winds uh, more towards the Artesia area, uh, southeast South Tibahaw County, west Knotsby County. This is mainly a straight line wind event. Like I said, the only warning that we are currently tracking is the one up towards Amory. Um, Aberdeen, is, by the way, is not included in this warning. Hamilton is not included in this warning. If you live in Caledonia, because we have people that live in Caledonia, but for some reason the Monroe County signal goes for them this is not for you either Cal as far as Caledonia is concerned you are only under a severe thunderstorm warning and let's hope we can obviously keep it that way but no guarantees at this point but let's like I said hope we can at least keep it that way um, as far as what we will see after this once this moves through we are done which is excellent news um, Hattiesburg if you know anyone down there in the Southern Mist community. There is a tornado warning for that storm. We'll visit it for a couple minutes just because I just happened to see it. Uh, tornado warning for Marion, North, Northern Forest County, and Lamar County. This is in uh, Southeast Mississippi near Hattiesburg. And this will be in the Hattiesburg area around 740 to 745, so about 30 minutes from now. Uh, about 30 minutes, they'll be in the Hattiesburg area. Like I said, I'm just, I just wanted to touch on this for just a second. Um, obviously, we don't have any, any good radar, so I'll have to switch our radar to get this. Um, and the same can be said uh, for down here near the Hammond area. Actually, south of that, down I-55, going towards La Place. Let's actually go ahead and get a radar out there. I'm going to go ahead and view the radar out there for just a minute, just because last week, this area was hit hard by a tornado last week. I think you guys know what I'm talking about with New Orleans. They were hit by an EF3 tornado last week. So the last thing they need is another tornado. So, again, we're just going to check this area out and see what we got out in this direction. Um, Definitely a few kinks of rotation. Nothing out of the ordinary or nothing that's screaming like a big tornado. Um. New Orleans, though, probably in the ballpark of about uh, 30, 45 minutes or so. Uh, you'll be in the line of fire of some of these severe thunderstorms. I know this is not what you need, especially after what you just went through. So um, definitely going to have to watch that. And we are in an area where I might be able to get into this Hattiesburg storm. This is going to be a tough one no matter which radar I use. Actually, I think I should be all right with this one. All right, let's go to uh, base velocity on this. And by the way, we will go back up to the north side in a minute. I'm just touching base on this. I just happened to notice there was some warnings down here, and I thought, well, let's touch on it while we're in this direction. 
Uh, base velocity, not really telling me too much as far as a uh, potential uh, tornado. Storm relative velocity, let's check that. Make sure. Uh, mainly just damage in straight line winds and possibly some kinks of rotation, but other than that. Okay, Colin's granddad said it should be okay about 8.30. I can agree with that. But again, we're trucked. But again, we're uh, just kind of keep an eye on this right now. We'll go back to that in just a minute. Um, just trying to check everything here. I don't really see anything out of the ordinary that tells me a tornado is on the ground in progress. So again, let's hope we can keep it that way. Again, no promises there. Let's switch it back over to the uh, Lowndes County uh, storms. We got some thunder happening outside. I hear it. Yeah, I know. Some thunder happening outside. The line's getting closer. That's why I'm jumping back over to double check everything just to make sure that we're not. Huh? Do I need to go outside and make sure we ain't got no spinners? Uh, no, I'd rather you not. Trust me. This thing will detect it. I appreciate it, but this thing will detect it. I'd rather you not. You need then to stay. Your weather yeah, but here's the thing. You don't need to do that. You just don't want me to because I won't let you. It's fine. Anyway, um, we do have a report on this coming in in Starfield, uh, right outside Starfield, the downtown area. Uh, there was a tree that fell on a home on Codwell Street. Amber, I think you know where that is? Vaguely. Okay. Is that like in the downtown area or? Okay, so just giving y'all a heads up on that, that we did get a report of a tree falling on my home on Codwell Street, so um, hopefully everybody's okay over in that direction. Um, I want to go back and visit this storm over here in Knotsby County because they they have put a tornado possible tag, signet, a tornado possible tag on this storm. So I do want to go back and visit this real quickly, if not just briefly. Um, if this stays on this line, it would be in Columbus in about 10 minutes. This line right now, this full line will be in Columbus in about 10 minutes, maybe even sooner than that. Uh, yeah, really about sooner than that, more like about seven minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, I just have to track it. And it's it's kind of bowing out there just west of the Brooksville community. So if you live in the Brooksville area... Uh, please be in your safe spot. You are not under tornado warning. None of us are under tornado warning except for those in Monroe County. But this is in a situation where we still have to be careful, extra, extra careful. Because a lot of times you get in a situation like this where it's in a very unpopulated area and it'll happen and it won't be caught in time. And then all of a sudden it's too late by that point. So let's check the base velocities again. It's still, and there's a little kink. I'm still trying to stick out like a sore thumb in a sense, if that makes any sense. So I don't want to say we're completely done with that storm just yet. I'm still tracking it. Just make sure that we're not just totally missing anything before we're officially home free. But I do want to say one thing. Once this line comes through, and once you get basically the severe weather, you're done. So, Starkville, you're done. Like, uh, West Point, West Point's downtown area, you're pretty much done. Waverly, I need another five to ten minutes before I can get you out of your safe place. Uh, but anywhere from basically uh, Alt 45. West, Highway 45 West, up into Tupelo, and then Alt 45 to Brooksville. Other than up to about West Point, I should say, you can come out of your safe place. Artesia, Crawford, I need another like five to ten minutes before I can pull you out of the safe place, especially around Crawford, because this part of the storm is still trying to get organized, it looks like. It's... The stronger part of this storm down there in southwest Lowndes County. If a tornado warning was to happen, it's going to happen in Lowndes County. 
And of course I say that and it's probably gonna happen now. Thank you, Mark. If it does, I'm gonna throw you out as a sacrifice. Ha ha. Let's fu- Hey, you know what? Starfield didn't get hit by a tornado, even though I called they were gonna go under a warning. But the reason I'm saying that is uh, this is a stronger part of the storm, and this is, and I have been monitoring this rotation for the past 15 minutes. Hasn't been all that impressive, but it's been that one little kink in the line that if something was to spin up, that would be the place to do it. I got it. I'm throwing you in a sacrifice. No, you're not. Moving on. Shower. Hmm. I don't shower when there's storms. You get wet and stuck in the shower. Well, I say, give, let this line clear out before I you do that. Yeah. I know, Mark. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> uh, okay, we do need to touch on this. We need to go back up to Monroe County because even though a tornado warning was not issued for Lyons County, one was this issued for Monroe County, central Monroe County, where a tornado has just been observed. This is a damaging tornado in northeastern Monroe County. Southeastern Monroe County was located seven miles east of Aberdeen. And this is a tornado that is on the ground. So we are going to have to track this. Where is it Monroe County? Huh? Monroe? Southeast. It's like the eastern part of Monroe County. I don't know. Um, I, don't I know said, we're, um, I'm fixing to pull up some stuff to see what we got. And I'm probably not fixing to like it. Excuse me, I'm probably I'm not going to like this, but we got to see what we got. Sure, the weatherman. It hmm. um, uh, looks like it's going to be around this area right in here. Uh, base velocity, it's right in there. So it's going to go right over the radar site. So if we see something over the radar site, it's going to be hard for us to see it. But after that, it'll cross over to the Alabama line into Lamar County and Marion County, uh, north of Sullivan, but in around the Detroit and Hamilton area, if this holds up. Pickens County, you say? Huh? Pickens County? No, uh, Lamar County. Okay. Pickens County is where Lowndes County is and all that. But, but speaking of uh, Lamar County, they did just go under a severe thunderstorm warning for a uh, radar-indicated storm. Uh, they did not put a tornado possible signature on that. I'm a little surprised. Uh, Lowndes County storm, this one just came in, and they have upgraded to a tornado possible on this. So they have added that now, and max wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour, and that is for this storm right here, which is basically the area where I was just tracking the whole time for the past 15 to 30 minutes. To where I said that there was going to be a chance of something coming up. And if this holds together in about 7 minutes, Columbus will be impacted in about 8 to 10 minutes or so. Mark, you're a jinx. How am I a jinx? You're just jinx that area. Moving on. Storm relative velocities. Let's, let's double check things to make sure that we're not seeing. Ooh, ooh. This is getting a little more interesting. Gate to gate share. Let's see what we got. Because this is what's going to be a kicker. Okay, I know that's not right. The gate to gate share is all out of whack. Ah. Uh, it. It's close. I'm not going to say it's a, it's a definite, but it's one of the more impressive looking rotations I've seen. Um, besides the Jackson one, which obviously that was a tornado. But it's one of the more impressive rotations I've seen. But if this does hold on this track, it's going to head right into the Columbus area, probably within the next six minutes. So... Columbus, uh, what's up, Michael? How you doing? Anyway, Columbus, um, even though you are not under a tornado warning, I would suggest go at least getting within steps of your safe place, which you already are steps of a safe place, but I'm talking for those that are not. Um, 
I would go. I would suggest at least getting within steps of it just in case, because, like I said, this is one of the more impressive looking storms, and it is starting to ramp up a little bit. Again, the National Weather Service is only putting us under a tornado possible, but the damaging wind potential is up to 70 miles an hour. So this is something that we can't just sit up here and ignore either. Even if we don't get hit by a tornado, we're still looking at damaging winds in excess of 70 miles an hour, possibly that. So this is something that we still have to take seriously. Um, but I would place the rotation right around here in between the Crawford and the Artesia area. So if you're traveling along Alt 45 in between Crawford and Artesia, that is about where I would place this rotation. Somewhere in there, again, it would be nice if I had a dang roadmap on here, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to kind of use what I got. So 82 is about right in here. In a sense, I think they have New Hope a little too high, personally. So yeah, Columbus is going to be right in here. There's the rotation, and it, and it is getting stronger. It is getting stronger. There is a chance that this could try to drop something. But again, this is just a severe thunderstorm one. This is not a tornado warning, but we have to treat it as such because we are in a situation where right now we're in that kind of maybe zone and we don't need to take any chances. So again, I'm going to share this with my team and Nathan's team. We got to get as many people as possible on board so they can join in and this you know they know what's going on all right so done all that let's go back and look at this uh rotation still at about 59 to 60 miles an hour Paul's granddaddy says that there is a tornado thing on the ground above you wait what Colin's granddaddy said there is a tornado thing on the ground above you. Okay, if he's referring to the one in Lowndes County, it is not on the ground. That, that's the one I'm literally monitoring right now. But it is getting close. It is getting closer, and the problem is it's getting stronger. Um, and the other problem is National Weather Service isn't doing a damn thing about it. And yeah, it's getting stronger. I'm seeing 63 miles an hour out, outgoing, uh, about 25 to 30 incoming. So like I said, if you live in Columbus, I would get within steps of my safe place right now. Even though we're not under a tornado warning at the current time, we need to treat this as a tornado worn storm. Because I think we're in a situation right now we, where right now this could be something that drops something. But again, let's look at cor well, let's look at correlation coefficients, and let, that'll tell us if there's something on the ground. Of course, by then, if there's something on the ground, it's too late. But thankfully, I don't. Well, I don't know. Can't really make an argument for these two because that's not that doesn't match up with where the storm is at. The storm's up here, and then that's down there, so that doesn't match, thankfully. Let's go to storm relative velocity. Uh, Amber, where are you going? Nowhere. Gotcha. Um, anyway, uh, the rotation is starting to tighten up, and it is tightening up quick. Uh, like I said, if you live in Columbus, I would be in my safe place right now. If you live in Columbus, you need to be in your safe place right now. Um, this is not a made, um, we have to assume that a tornado is in the process of possibly getting ready to touch down. That rotation, like I said, it's probably the best I've seen all evening. And that's not a good thing. I'm seeing 73 miles an hour on the, on the incoming side. So if nothing else, we're talking 75 mile an hour winds coming from this storm. So the storm's almost on top of us right now. But the problem is with this situation, it's going to be rain wrapped. So if there is a tornado there, it's going to be rain wrapped. It's in this spot right there. And if you look on the reflectivity, it's rain wrapped. 
So you're not going to be able to see these. So, and not to mention it's all, it's starting to get dark. So now is not the time to be playing hero and trying to go out and see if we see a tornado. Um, like I said, we're not under a tornado warning at this time, but we still need to treat it as such. Um, the rotation, th that little kink is there to where something could literally try to spin up. And if nothing else, again, this storm is producing 69 or 70 mile an hour winds according to storm relative velocities. It had it up to 75 a scan or two ago, and it's thankfully dropped a little bit. But it is about four miles, uh, give it about four to five miles southwest of Columbus right now. Looking at this right now, because there's our teaser right there. Highway 45 is going to be right there, and 82 is going to be right there. So if you're at the Magnolia Speedway, this thing's coming right towards you. Columbus will probably be within the next couple of minutes. So, like I said, now's the time, um, and again, I know we're not under a tornado warning, but now's the time when we've got to take this seriously and at least treat this as if we're under a tornado warning, because this thing could drop at any time, and the National Weather Service possibly missed it. I don't know. There's not enough um, incoming to know for sure that there is enough rotation, which is good, but I would have at least put something there because that is very concerning and especially with there being a hook right in there I don't like what I'm seeing there there is a hook right in there and if y'all look on storm relative velocity let's check it it is right there Let's check storm relative velocity, and that is actually moved up, so. Um, again, I'm not going to say it's a tornado, but that is a nasty hook there. If nothing else, it's producing 70 mile an hour winds at the very least. Um, tornado is possible with this. Um, it is not a tornado worn storm, but a tornado is possible with this storm Amber did you seriously lock yourself out to look for you've got to be kidding me guys I will be right back in one second for the love of Pete Let me see here. You have got to be kidding me. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. I do sincerely apologize about that. I had to take care of that. We can go back. To... Yeah. Um. Anyway, right now, still dealing with the severe thunderstorm. The 
Um, if we do see something, it's going to happen for the next couple of minutes in Columbus. The damage and wind potential is like it's right, it's almost right on top of us. If nothing else, like I said, 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds. And purple lightning. Well, now, like I said, now is not the time to be playing Hero Ball. <laughs> hero Ball? Yeah. I don't know what that is. That means trying to be a hero and trying to chase the thing yourself. Which I know is kind of controversial because I would do the same thing, but the thing, That's the difference is. The but here's the thing. If I were to do it, I'd have my own car, which I don't I have. Was in the yard. Regardless. Um, anyway, still tracking the uh, still tracking the storms. Is the strongest winds are about to overtake the Columbus area and move off to the north. Uh, the strongest winds actually are right now along the. Uh, Columbus Air Force Base area, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds over the, in that direction. Also, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds over in the uh, western part of the city. So, we are seeing the strongest part of the storm right now. Thankfully, we are not seeing any tornado warnings out of this. That tells me that there is not a tornado on the ground or in progress, thankfully. As I'm scanning down the radar to check for other stuff. Uh, I've seen a few tornado warnings down south. Um, I do see where it looks like they did confirm a tornado near Aberdeen, it looks like. Three miles east-southeast of Aberdeen, they reported a tornado. Uh, radar indicated a brief tornado touchdown, very small circulation, but they, it, they did confirm a tornado touchdown via the radar. So that was confirmed. Um, back to the Lowndes County storms. They're still uh, finishing up here. Like I said, I don't see, luckily, I don't see much on the backside to make me think that there's rotation, thankfully. But there's still a lot of damaging winds out there. Damage and wind potential pretty much exists all throughout Highway 45 at this point from Columbus to about the Hamilton area. Easily 60 to 70 mile an hour winds all up and down US 45 from Columbus to Hamilton. Um, very possible. Um, easily could have some uh, damage being done over there. Um, so that is one thing we're going to have to keep an eye on to make sure of. Uh, that's that storm that, that issued the tornado warning near Aberdeen is about to exit Mississippi. So we will not have to worry about that. Um, just, uh, right now, like I said, the strongest part of the storm is pretty much right on top of me right now. Probably seeing about 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Just double checking. Just double checking just to make sure that I don't miss anything. And it doesn't look like I did, thankfully. But we are dealing with the strongest part right now. So I, I can say this for sure. Um, if you are Crawford, Artesia, well, Crawford, give me about two more minutes on you. But if you're in Artesia, you can come out of your safe place. The storms are done. You're still going to see heavy rain. Still going to see some wind. But but the severe weather threat for you has ended. Um, looking downstream, some uh, severe thunderstorms in Knottsby County and Kemper County. Uh, let's see here. Trying to get a new radar scan, and yeah, the strongest part is literally right on top of Columbus. And if there was going to be a tornado, it would have happened right now. And I don't see anything, so thankfully, we are good. We should be good.
Let's check those base velocities. And yeah, I'm only seeing like the one-sided stuff, unlike the stuff that was up there. So a lot of this seems to just be straight line winds. Or, well, let me check the storm relative velocities to double check that. And then, like I said, if I'll, and then if I really just don't see anything else, I think we may be safe to almost get ready to call it. Because like I said, I don't see any, any other signs of potential rotation yet. That's not to say that there isn't one, but they did go on ahead and uh, let's see what they did with this one here. Uh, the clay, the storm for Clay County is canceled or because it's moved out of the area. So Clay County, you are done. Uh, looks like a severe thunderstorm one remains in effect for 745. It was located near Columbus, moving northeast at 55, 70 mile an hour winds. It'll be near Caledonia around 8 o'clock. So still going to check on things. Torn they are still going with a tornado possible tag uh, because there is some rotation there and it could easily try to do something so Caledonia heads up about 60 to 70 mile an hour winds uh, heading your in your direction but again I don't see the I don't see any rotation on the back end which is a good thing I'll however Let's, okay, I thought I thought I saw something that looked a little bit off, but no, um, we're okay. So yeah, Caledonia, within the next 10 minutes, you'll be seeing the strong damaging winds. Columbus Air Force Base, you're already seeing the strong damaging winds uh, currently. Uh, but pretty much like Crawford, Artesia, West Point, Aberdeen and Amory in those areas you can come out of your safe spot you are clear Brooksville give me another few minutes even though you're not under a warning you still have what 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 where did you get this Mark just sent a picture of a chat he got with somebody else tornado in car in Crawford coming through Columbus. Okay. Uh, so Amber has one of her friends that just reported a possible tornado that was near Crawford that was heading towards Columbus. But again, uh, he was probably late on the report because that was back in Crawford a few minutes ago. But in his defense, that... I can't say for certain that that was a tornado on the ground, but again, it could have been, huh? Could have been in the air. Didn't say if it was on the ground or not. Like he he may have he may have seen a funnel. Maybe that's what he meant. He may have seen a funnel, but that but that just goes to show like what I had said before. Um, let's go back a few scans and see if we can pick this up real quick. All right. All right, so this is at about 7.34. And right there, let's probe this real quick. Right there, we had some very, very strong winds, 70 to 75 miles an hour. And that's why I had said if something was going to drop, it was about to happen right there. So it's possible that at 7.34 p.m., we may have had a funnel in between Crawford and Columbus. Because that, because at the time, I'm going to zoom in on this so I can give you guys some numbers. But at the time, this was producing 74 to 75 mile an hour wind. So it's very possible we had a funnel at the time. So it's very, that is very possible. So we may have had a funnel. Um, from my Amber, one of Amber's friends reported a possible tornado near Crawford heading towards Columbus. That was Colin's granddad. That was who? Colin's granddad. That was Colin's granddad that said that? He sent it to Colin's 
call him and Paula said screenshot to me. Ah, okay. Well, um, in that one, like I said, that it's very possible. I think National Weather Service is going to have to investigate this one because if y'all look at that radar scan, scan right there, it shows a potential. So. Here comes the rain. I hear rain pouring down. You hear what? Lots of rain outside. Yeah. Like I said, we're, we're about to be done with the worst of this. Um. Yeah, we are actually done with it. Like, the worst of it's gone. We're, we're just going to see rain and stuff. I'm just waiting for the National Weather Service to officially clear, you know, Columbus. Because it almost did with that last update. They just didn't quite clear us. But, uh, for the most part, we're done. Uh, monitoring for any other storms down there south of us. Obviously, it won't hit us. But we're still going to monitor just in case. Um, Hattiesburg could be seeing uh, tornadoes. Possibly. So. But again, we'll, we'll stay on for a few more minutes to let this kind of clear out of Lowndes County, make sure nothing else tries to spin up like that uh, possible funnel did down there in Crawford. Because like I said, if it was going to spin up, that was going to be the time to do it. The winds was up to 75 miles an hour. So if it was going to spin up, that was going to be the time. So there could be some truth behind that. I think National Weather Service, they're going to have to investigate that. And if there was a funnel in there, and and if maybe it did touch down, if it did touch down, it didn't do any debris damage because the debris signature was not there. So it did not touch down. There was no tornado if that touched down. That much I know for sure. Now, could something have maybe, it could have been a funnel that was trying to work its way down to the ground? Possibly. But that's that zone of maybe, possibly, I don't know. Because in that situation. We situa didn't see it with our own eyes. Huh? We didn't see it. No, we didn't see it. And on top of that, we don't have any debris confirmations to really prove it. So, again, that's in that zone of maybe, possibly. So I think that is something National Weather Service will have to investigate. Um, when I was said and done with this. So anyway, back to uh, tracking this. Right now, the strongest part of this storm is around the Columbus Air Force Base, heading up towards Caledonia. And honestly, it's getting a, a little bit weaker. It's dropped about 50, and s there's a couple of 60s. I don't know. Well, there's a 65. There's a 65. Oh, there's a 67. I just saw a 67. Hold on. That was right near the Hamilton area, South Monroe County. But as far as Lowndes County is concerned, uh, right now, mainly winds of 40 and 50. Okay, and they just updated the warning, and I think they just cleared Columbus. So Columbus, you can come out of your safe place. You are done. Uh, check in on this. Uh, see what we got. Smith thunderstorm warning remains in effect for until 8.15. It was located over Steens or near Columbus Air Force Base, moving northeast at 60. And they have dropped the wind speed to 60, which I figured they were going to. The wind speed had dropped considerably. So that is good that they did that. Um, they still have the tornado possible tag just to be safe. But again, I don't think there's going to be one that spins up. But so I think for the most part, we are pretty much in the clear. Uh, it's almost 8 o'clock, been live for almost, really, an hour and a half or so or whatever. Um, but for now, I think we are about to call it here. I do appreciate everyone that tuned in. I appreciate Amber for providing the continuous updates through the chat and keep an eye on things in that regard. Um, definitely going to have some stuff to look into as far as if anything actually touched down with any of these storms. Uh, in that, in that nature. But I think as far as Lowndes County is concerned, I think we're pretty much in the clear. So on that note, uh, I will go ahead and sign off. Mark McCoy, sign off. I will see y'all later. Peace out, guys.